Is, is that my cue, Billy? Yes, sir. Hey, everybody. Uh, how's everybody doing this week? I hope they had a great week. I hope your week was as good as mine. Uh, we're going to go a little unscripted tonight. I've got a couple of announcements to make. Um, uh, one certainly is remember everybody uh, within uh, uh, 1,000 miles should make plans to join us on April 20 or April, February 29th in Mooresville. We have a presentation and, and a get together. We're going to be sharing the, the products and sharing the opportunity with everybody. Um, if you're in the area or uh, again, thousand miles. Okay. But if you're, if you're within a couple hours uh, distance, um, you know, grab some friends and, and, and make a day out of it. Come on up and join us and, um, uh, and, and, and introduce them to this. Um, again, uh, February 29th is coming up in a couple of weeks. Uh, also, there are continues to be some new updates. We're not going to go any, any, over anything specific tonight, but there's a couple of new updates in the back office. I will tell you that uh, it's been crazy around the office uh, for the last week, certainly in the last couple of days. So we don't have any of our fancy multimedia slide presentations for you tonight. We're going to talk about a couple of things. Most importantly, I'm uh, going to talk again about the 25, uh, 2499 uh, enrollment fee. Uh, and Billy's going to share a little bit about his experience with that too. But I have a couple of things, and I will do my best not to ramble, okay? Um, <clears throat> I have a couple of surprises this week that I've done for myself. And I wanted to share this with everybody because we talked about our goals. And they can come in different forms, whether it's something we want to do for ourselves, our families, uh, or for other people. Um, I know Billy's kind of got me beat because Billy announced this week, not only did he recently purchase his very first brand new vehicle, but he is also in the process of buying a house, I believe, uh, or looking into that. So that's amazing. So he's got me beat once again. Uh, I have a, uh, uh, something coming to me on Friday. I've got a truck uh, coming as well. And I've got a badass black on black Dodge Ram, uh, big horn coming. And um, as, I've, as I told you all a little while ago, I started a separate bank account and I'm treating this very, very, very much like, 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 like a business. And so I have a separate account for my money. And I was able to uh, purchase this truck uh, using the money that I've made so far doing uh, my life simple and reaction. Um, something else uh, equally important, if not even more important, um, is something I was able to do about a week and a half ago. I went to a friend's charity event uh, here in Charlotte. It's called Ace and TJ's Grin Kids. And Ace and TJ are DJs on a morning radio show here in, in, in Charlotte. And they're very popular. And they have a, uh, a, a charitable foundation where they uh, select um, from the pool of kids um, in their organization, I think maybe 20, 25 kids per year. And these are kids dealing with chronic issues. Um, you know, some of them have terminal conditions, uh, not necessarily ma like make a wish, but, but closely related. And every year they pick 20 kids and they take those 20 kids and their entire families to Disney World. And so they can enjoy that time together and get away and escape and have fun. Well, I went to the charity event and uh, this kind of sense shows up my spine. And I'm not bringing attention to myself, but I'm just talking about just another kind of byproduct of what we're doing here. And I was able to write a check for $450 and, and basically say, I'm going to sponsor, uh, a, sponsor a kid uh, to go to Disney World. And $450 is the cost of a, of a, of a round trip flight. Uh, to Orlando and back. And I was able to do that, and I was able to do that from my reaction money. So I wanted to share those things because uh, I think that's really, really important about what we're doing. Um, now, I'm gonna talk about some other things. I said to Billy, I'm gonna get a little more challenging here. I gotta be honest with you, I said to you all six, seven months ago, or five months ago when I started doing these Zooms, well, I'm gonna try to keep it, you know, kind of low key and, um, uh, I'm not very rah-rah and all that kind of stuff, but I got to tell you what's been happening for me since really J January 1st, which for me, that's when I feel like I really, really launched my business. Um, and I don't know what it was except for, I think the decision had kicked in. I think the things that we've been doing to make it easier um, kicked in. And um, it's incredibly exciting. So I look at it. And I know we talk about small goals and we talk about, you know, getting your one per person, two people. My question is, why are we not all just killing it? 
it's not enough now to tiptoe and, and, uh, and again, settle for one or two people, bring them the opportunity. My challenge to you is let's set some big goals now. Everybody should be killing this. We have everything that is possibly necessary for you to go out and share this information, share the product, share the business opportunity with other people. Everything you need is there. So if you're still struggling, if you're still uh, challenged, then you need to reach out. You need to reach out to Billy. You need to reach out to me because we've got to identify what, you know, what, what the hurdle is here because all the tools are there. So I'm looking forward and I've talked to quite a few people, um, you know, as I, as I always do, but I talked to quite a few people and trying to put my finger on what it is, what, what's, what's needed. And I will tell you without a doubt, the one thing that I think is missing is guided passion. If that makes sense, guided passion. It's one thing to believe about the products. It's one thing to believe in the business. But it's another thing to be passionate about it. Again, I told you my story. I had one experience in network marketing many years ago. That I don't even talk about that anymore because this, this is so exciting. And where I was like a lot of you, I kind of tiptoed a little bit and didn't want to be that you know, network marketing you know, guy that they wanted to avoid. Or the, or, you know what? Frankly, I don't care at this point. Um, I uh, wasn't as prepared tonight as I would have liked to have been because I was out dropping off samples to more people. I've had three people in the last week that I've gotten re-engaged because of the reduced BV, so they're back in. And I find that a lot of the seeds that I've been planting for the last six months are now actually coming to fruition. There are people, um, I don't know if Mary's on tonight. Mary's a friend of mine, I don't see her much, but I see her out and about every once in a while. And she came up to me about a week and a half ago um, out here in Cornelius and said, oh, by the way, I wanna get together with you because I wanna hear about this reaction. That has started to happen so much. So I think it's kind of a, a sum total of what we do in our efforts as far as Facebook and, and all that kind of stuff. But I'll tell you, the intangible component of being excited about it. And so that's what I kind of put my finger on as far as the, the guided passion, I call it, because passion can, 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 can take different forms. All I know is this, this is working for me and it's working for a lot of people. Billy, for crying out loud, as we all know, we talk about it every week it's really, really working for him. I feel now to the point where if I don't share this with people, then I feel a little bit guilty because a year from now, I'm gonna say I wish I would have, would have been a little more forceful with it. So, you know what? I don't hesitate. Um, as we talk about, no doesn't mean no, it means not now. Um, and I've had people that I've, I've been talking to for three or four months that have now, for some reason, after a certain amount of touch points like we talk about, have now decided to jump in. So I just wanted to share that with y'all. And I wanted to, again, challenge everybody to, to, to know what we've got here. We talk about how amazing these products are. We talk about having one of the best comp plans out there. Um, I say it's the best, but I haven't seen anything better. Let's put it that way. But it's certainly one of the best comp plans. And for this enrollment cost in this industry, for this product, like I said, there is no reason to not be killing this. So maybe it's the way we're delivering the message or the way you're, you're delivering your message. Reach out, reach outside of your circles. For those of you that are out of, out of, out of town, outside of Charlotte, for instance, or our people that don't live near you, reach out. Reach out to these people and say, listen, I got to tell you, I'm, I'm really, really uh, invested in this and believe in this product and believe in this business opportunity so much. You know, it's time to stop tiptoeing and like I said, I'll, I'll issue some challenges to everybody, not for me, not for the company, not for Billy, but for yourselves. Um, we've got everything we need. So I know I'm kind of rambling on and on, but I, I got to tell you, there's a, there's a new Jeff in town and uh, he's not tiptoeing anymore. I believe in this so much and to be able to do some of the things that I'm doing now with, with some spare change. Billy said, am I, am I, somebody asked me if I was getting rid of my BMW and I said, no, I'm keeping the BMW because the chicks dig it. <laughs> anyway, um, but I'm also going to have a nice black Dodge Ram to match uh, Ronnie and Billy's uh, in the parking lot over at the office. So again, if, if you're still having trouble, if you're, if you're still challenged, reach out to Billy, reach out to me. Let's find out what it is. It might be just a tweak in how you're, uh, in how you're kind of presenting this, but you really need to be passionate about this going forward. And it's, and it's happening. It is so exciting 
watching what's going on around the office now, especially with these new changes since the first of the year. So um, I won't ever say to you anymore, well, I'm not going to be rah-rah because I, I, I'm, I'm watching this happen and I'm watching it happen for other people. I'm watching it happen for myself. So um, that's, that's my portion of tonight. Billy, I'm going to let you jump in here a little bit and talk uh, a little bit more about, about how to articulate this and how you're using the, uh, you know, the new uh, enrollment and the reduced BV to, um, uh, to talk about, about it with people. Yeah, well, first off, congrats on the new truck, Jeff. That's, that's a huge accomplishment. And we are very all, we're, we're all goal driven and we're, we're driven by dreams and hopes and prayers and everything that comes together. And we're working for our future. This is just the beginning. And I wanna say that again and again and again. This has just started. As Jeff mentioned, it seemed like January 1st was day one of, of Reaction My Life Simple. The six months prior to that, we were just, we were just out here learning. And, and the company was coming up with new products and things that could really help us, new tools. I think we have everything that we need, as Jeff mentioned too. We have all the tools, we have all the resources, our websites, everything, the products, everything is super simple. In my opinion, this is one of the best compensation plans in the business. And I mean that with, with everything. As Jeff mentioned, he's going to start being forceful with people. I'll, I'll tell you guys, since day one, I've been forceful. Not because I think everyone needs a second job or a third job or a better life when it comes to wellness. I mean, with the health. I think that the products speak for themselves. And I, I'm so passionate about what reaction has done for me in my life that I'm just out. I, from the bottom of my heart, I believe every single person needs to be on these products. Regardless, whether they're a VIP, a retail customer, or an ambassador, just like you and me. I'm that passionate about what we have going on. Now, I'm going to mention something to you guys. $24.99. I want, I want to let that sink in. It's $24.99 to start your very own business like I have. That's my approach to people. Is now, I'm reaching out to people. There's someone on here named J.R. Davis, a good friend of mine. He's a VIP customer at this time and getting ready to be signed up as an ambassador. Will JR go out and work his business? Maybe, maybe not, but he's passionate. He's been on the products, passionate about it. He's going to sign up as a, a VIP or a ambassador now, get 25% off of his products. And he's going to pay just $24.99 to get in, in this company. Now through JR, he's going to build some passion in these products even more than he has now. It's only been about two weeks since he started taking them. He's going to continue to build that passion and share them with the people around him. He's going to share the products, tell people his story. And from there, you mark my words, J.R. Davis could become a huge ambassador with, with my life simple and reaction. So what I'm doing, I'm reaching out to every single person I know. I'm not cold calling people that I don't know. I'm not reaching out to strangers. I'm not standing on the side of a road with a, with a yard sign saying reaction CBD and, and my life simple. I'm just a real person, just like you guys. I'm out here reaching out via Facebook, text messaging, phone calls to the people I know, reaching out to them, helping them become passionate. When I speak to you, some of you know me, some of you don't. When I talk about reaction to my life, simple, it's from my heart. And I, I'm going to tell you guys that straight up. I believe so much in what we're doing in our goal and our mission as ambassadors. That's why when I reach out to people, I tell them I started my own company. I did just like every single one of you guys did as ambassadors. And Jeff mentioned, he's able to, to cut a check to, a, to help a, a young child be able to go to Disney. That's pretty special. You guys are all business owners with this. All that, all that this needs is heart and determination. That's what I feel like the difference between a star and a rising star is, is that determination to be able to get out there. Don't be afraid to reach out to people. This is an opportunity that could change somebody's life. The only thing missing is you, letting them know about it. And what makes it so special and why this company is designed the way that it was, was to be on a personal level. So I don't want you guys to overthink it and, and, and think, you know, I just can't do this. You can do this and you will do this. I'm, I'm telling you guys that. If there's something that any of you are, are having an issue with or kind of struggling on getting going, as Jeff mentioned, reach out to us. There's people every Tuesday after the Zoom, people are so excited. They're reaching out to us. They're bouncing ideas back and forth. And I'll tell you guys, there's been quite a few new ambassadors that have become activated here in the past few weeks. 
earn their first check. People have been earning retail commissions. And guess what? The passion is driving. The products are getting spread more and more. This is just the beginning. And I feel like we're, we're going to go so far with this. I can't wait. For those of you who can make it to the, to the meeting here in a few weeks, I can't wait to even talk to you guys then. I think that'll be exciting. Every single week we get on here. I just, I'm pumped up. That's all I can say. Um, please reach out to me. Again, $24.99. You're looking at an opportunity to share these products with everyone. That's what we're doing. You're an ambassador and you're the best. And the only one that's going to tell you any different is you. Jeff? Uh, yeah, a couple of things I wanted to uh, just, just um, follow up on. Uh, I think I mentioned this last week, Billy, when you used a phrase, when you talked about uh, during your communications with people about how you say, you know, I just started this business. And I think that's really important for everybody to know and to be able to communicate. It's not like you're working for somebody else. You're not working for my life simple. You're not working for a reaction. You're working for yourself. This is your business. So don't feel shy about, again, reaching out to people and saying, listen, I've started a business. This is what I'm doing. And I would love to be able to uh, share some information with you. We're going to be talking a little bit next week about some sales things. You know, I don't really like that word, but it, you know what? It's, it's kind of a, uh, you know, a necessary um, uh, phrase. And there are tools for people. And it, sales, I've always said about me, you know, there are people that they say can sell, uh, you know, air conditioning to Eskimos. And I'm like, I never wanted to be that guy. I'll sell them heat and feel really good about it because it's something that they need. Um, but to have a personal stake in this, this is your business. So to learn about some sales things, one of the things I do know is um, the idea of, uh, of, of what they call the ask. And that comes down to what your goal is. What is your goal in a conversation or a text or a Facebook post? You know, if you're just throwing stuff out on Facebook, I've, I've had some success there recently. As some of you saw my posts, I reached out and I had four people respond to an offer I made. Um, but that's not often, you know, is sometimes it takes more than that or a repeated kind of effort. Um, so the ask is knowing what it is that you're asking them to do. So again, we talked about little goals. If your ask is, let's just get you on a Zoom. I sent out a text to my team, as I said, 30 minutes ago and said, you know, make a call right now, send out a text. Those people that have been kind of, you know, tiptoeing or whatever, you know what, maybe that's a great time to hit them up 30 minutes before the Zoom as opposed to, you know, 24 hours. Um, uh, you know, and start being a little more kind of, um, you know, proactive with it. So understand what your ask is. If you're get, trying to get them on a Zoom, then that's what it is. If it's trying to get them to try the product, great. If it's trying to get them to enroll to get 25% off and, you know, experience the business for themselves, know what you're asking for. That's a really, really important part of this. The second thing, and again, this is just a teaser for next week, is to understand that all sales basically come down to, most of the good ones are basically, they focus on the solution. Um, as opposed to uh, focusing on trying to sell something. I think that trips people up sometimes is the idea that they're trying to sell them this product. This is a great product. And I believe in that more and more every single day, the more people, you know, try these products and come back and say this, 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 this. We all know it's a great product. Um, uh, but, as, but as far as the, you know, the sales portion of it, focus on the solution. What are they looking for? Do they have any sort of things that they can, you know, they can maybe experience some benefits? So the first thing for some people is to get the product in their hands. Other people who might be more focused on the business, what's their, what's their problem? They call it, what, you know, where's the pain? Find out where the pain is. Is it that they're struggling to, um, you know, make ends meet, make rent and that kind of stuff? Um, you know, identifying. I've got a post I'm going to put out probably tomorrow and basically say, how much money would it take to change your life? Is it $300 a, a week? Is it 500 a week? Is it 1,000 a month? Is it 10,000 a month? What is it? Because that's all right here in front of us, guys. I gotta be honest with you. I'm watching it happen and I want it to happen for, for, for you too. So my rah-rah now is not, uh, again, go out and you know, sell the company. It's I wanna help you succeed for yourself because that's, again, like we've talked about, that's how this is gonna happen for everybody. Um, I wanna encourage you, if uh, Billy, if you wanna put, uh, put up your Facebook, um, the Dream Team, Billy's got a, a Facebook group for uh, current ambassadors um, and it allows them to you know, see things that are being posted. Somebody asked me, could they, uh, they like, can I steal that? I'm like, 
you can take whatever post any of us do, I'll, I'll speak for everybody, any post that you see you like it, screenshot it or save it, share it, put your own information on it, make it seem like your own post. Um, uh, but it's a great uh, you know, way of uh, you know, kind of getting tapped in. Feel the Reaction Dream Team on Facebook. Uh, reach out to Billy if you don't already um, uh, uh, you know, get his notifications and stuff and join that as well. It's a really, really great group. Um, and the last thing I'll say before we open it up for questions, and this is my motivation for tonight. People talk about and have this statement like we talked about with direct marketing. Let me tell you what, what direct marketing, when Den Wright has done for me. Because again, I've had two, two experiences. And this so far is great. I have met people that I didn't know six months ago um, that I'm forming friendships with. I've met a lot of you or talked to you, a lot of you ambassadors that I actually love uh, helping and talking to during the day when you call and say, thanks for your time. Hey, I'm glad to do it. I have reconnected with people. So it has not only created new relationships, it has forged other relationships. And that's the power in this. And, and again, where we're at right now, as far as building this thing, um, there's so much, there's so much here for all of us with this opportunity. And I'm not gonna apologize for being rah-rah anymore. So buckle up. Um, <clears throat> Billy, you wanna open it up for questions and see if anybody yeah. has any questions? Yeah, and or... I, I just wanna kinda add to that too. I, I got all on a tangent there earlier. I get, I get so excited when I'm talking about this, but I wanna, I wanna keep this simple for you guys. And I kinda challenge you to this. Reach out to every single person on your Facebook Messenger, one at a time. Simply ask the question, do you use CBD products? Or, hey, I want to reach out to you, see if you use CBD products. It's a great topic starter. Starts conversation, and Jeff kind of brought up a point there. I've reconnected with people that I haven't spoke with in 10 years. And it's not a, I'm not throwing them out on a limb and, and reaching out to them with a really random message. CBD is becoming more and more popular every single day. This is, and, and why this company is so great, by 2022, this is projected to be a $23.4 billion industry. People are talking about it. People are thinking about it and people are buying CBD products. So with that approach of do you use CBD products, you lead in there. I started my own company with these products. I just want to see if you had a second to take a look at it. From there, use these PDFs that we've been talking about and showing you guys. Those PDFs are magic. You send it out. It, it says everything for you. You're in control. You're in the driver's seat. You hit send send it over to them. You can do that Facebook messenger. You can do it through a text message. This is 2020. We got to use our technology to our advantage. And I think it's that simple for you guys. Um, I want to end with this and then we will open for Q and A. I want you guys to also remember why we're doing this and why we're here and why we even have this opportunity ourselves. Candace, Candace's story is so special. And that's something that I want us all keep as as our, our driving force and our mission of why we're doing this, you know, what she had and what she's gone through with her health to build this company and do it all herself and be, it's been amazing. The compensation plan that they've been, that they've been able to build for us as ambassadors, these great products that they've been able to bring to the table and, and the future that they're building for all of us as ambassadors is, is simply amazing. Um, and that's why I say, in my opinion, I think this is the best compensation plan or one of the best on the market. We're in a driver's seat, we're in the ground floor, and, and we're going to go a long ways with this. So with that, I want to open up for some Q&A. Um, if it, anybody has any questions for me or for Jeff, please feel free to reach out. If you're too shy, like me, go ahead and use the chat bar. And, and Billy, I'll throw in one last thing, because you, I talk about how fearless you are. And, and not being afraid of rejection and not being, and I mean, listen, I'm a victim of that too. Um, I didn't want to hear no. So recently I started reaching out to people that I had not reached out to before because I was tiptoeing. I'm thinking, well, you know, I don't know how to approach them. I don't know, I don't know them that well or whatever. Um, and so if you are out there listening to this right now, and there are people you have not reached out to in some form or another, like Billy said, just a conversation starter, are you taking CBD products? First of all, there's probably a lot of people that, that, that maybe are or have heard about it, et cetera. But I reached out to somebody last week. I saw a Facebook post um, that they had posted uh, about sleeping or whatever. And I reached out and said, listen, I saw your post. I just wanted to reach out. Do you take CBD products? 
Um, you know, and I, I'm, I'm with, I'm with, I started my own company with, with a product called Reaction. And if nothing else, I'd really be interested in seeing whether this might help you. And so we, so she texted back, she chipped out a little bit. And then she said the words nobody wants to hear. She said, I'm really not interested. And you know what happened? Nothing, nothing <laughs> happened. In fact, I felt great. I felt great because it's one of the first people that I didn't already know what she was gonna say. A lot of us kind of guide it like, well, I'm not gonna talk to anybody unless I think that they're the kind of person that's gonna say yes. So I'm like, you know what, get over it. So they say no, they're not inter interested. And I will venture to say that maybe three months, six months from now, if she still ain't sleeping, I will find a way to get her some product. So don't be afraid of somebody saying I'm not interested because you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. It really, it really doesn't matter. And I really don't think she thinks any less of me. And if she does, well, you know what they say about somebody who can't take a joke. So um, anyway, that's it. We'll open up to uh, a few questions. Um, and then we're going to do a drawing here for a couple of t-shirts. And once again, not everybody at once, please. With the question. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's shy. You know, that's me and funny. Jeff are actually really shy too. So the cool part about this is we're all ambassadors. We're, we're all friends and we're all one big family here. So there's no stupid questions. Like they always say, the only stupid question is the one that's unasked. So ask away. Um, and, it, and it's funny, I won't call her out by name, but let's just, let's just call her Laurie Jennings for now. Um, <laughs> she gets on the Zoom early tonight so she can talk to Billy because she doesn't want to talk when everybody else is on here. So any questions, comments? I, I, have, a, I have a question about the meeting coming up. Yes. On the 29th. Because I'm going, but I don't, I don't really, I guess I don't really know what it's all about. What the format is? Well, yes. well, we're going to have a very, very brief presentation. When I say brief presentation, something that's going to take probably no more than 30 minutes or so, 35 minutes. We're going to give them some high level information about CBD, but we're also going to talk about, about the business opportunity. Um, and, I, and I say, um, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a wonderful thing for people to come and hear and particularly hear about what makes us different, especially since every time people turn around, they are, they're faced with CBD signs. I, I was in uh, Statesville last week and I passed like a video store. I didn't even know they had video stores still, but it's a sign out front saying CBD sold here. So it's important for people to know a little bit about, uh, about what we're doing from a product standpoint, but also they're gonna get a high level uh, business presentation, much like the ones that are available uh, for everybody in the back office. So. You do know the way we do things that we're, I mean, we're not about pressure, but we are about sharing information. And, um, and you know, I think that when you, the reason we've encouraged you to bring people, certainly that might be interested, but also people that might just come and support you to put some bodies in seats, because it's also important to have, um, uh, you know, have as many people there as possible because of the collective energy, but it'll be an informative, short, we're not gonna drag it on for two hours. I think we've got enough practice under our belts now to be able to, to, to share this. If people want to ask questions, uh, certainly afterward, we'll do that. But it's going to be a very brief uh, kind of high-level presentation about, about, um, uh, about what we're doing and why we're doing it. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. That was Melody. Is that who it was? Yep. Thank you, Melody. Appreciate that. And look forward to seeing you. Yep. All right. Hey, Billy. Hey, Wendy. Hey, I just wanted to um, ask if you would remind, I see there's some new people on here tonight. One mm -hmm. of your things that when someone signs up with the gummies, because I use that now, and I signed up the three people last week with that approach, I think you should just kind of tell the new people what you've been doing with the gummies, because that's a really great way to be able to sell this. All right. How could I forget? My favorite part about reaction in my life, simple, is since the invention of the gummies, guys, this right here is a $24.99 retail item. So what I do for everyone that wants to join me in my journey is I offer them a free bottle of gummies. So essentially, it's free with me. When you sign up, you're showing me that you're, you're willing to, to join me in my journey. I'm willing to give you a $25 bottle of gummies. The point in this and the, the main reason that this works Compared to most edibles that we've had in the past, we only had four pieces. In this bottle of gummies, there's 10 pieces at 10 milligrams each. So the, the idea with this, 
you're going to be able to either as a new ambassador, you're going to be able to take one and share it with nine people that may be interested, or you might take gummies for 10 days just for yourself. It's a great way to build passion in these products. And I truly believe that one gummy right here, this little gummy can, can make you smile ear to ear and make you feel so much better. They work amazing. They taste great. And it's a great opportunity. I think that everyone should be doing this. It's something that's, that's worked really well. Like Lindy said, she was able to sign up quite a few ambassadors. Guys, when I buy gummies, I don't buy one or two gummies. I buy 15, 20 gummies at a time. And I hope I give every single one of them away. Those are more passionate ambassadors that we're bringing to my life simple reaction. So take that into consideration with your next simple ship, or if you want to go in your back office in your shopping cart, order up some gummies. It's a great thank you from you to your future ambassadors, people that are willing to join you in your journey. Give them some gummies. Any other questions? Any other comments? Sorry, when I go. Yeah, we got a couple over here, Jeff. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, Joe Lynn just asked a question, Billy. I'll, I'll answer that. If okay. It's okay. Joe Lynn asked, has anybody bought an ad on Facebook? Um, I, I personally have not bought ads, although I have boosted some of my posts. Um, and I sometimes get people who reach out. Uh, generally, the people are in, I don't want to say my close friend circle, but the people I hear from. So I haven't really... Um, Heard from a lot of people who I just don't know, but I think it's all part of, again, uh, kind of a, a, a systematic strategy as far as, again, um, sharing it with people. Um, some of the people, I, I mean, they're acquaintances. They're not even, not even really friends that reach out and, and, okay, what is this reaction thing you're doing? It's like, that's what it's all about. And that's why, again, we talk about the touch points that are necessary uh, before somebody actually reaches out. But they respond to being intrigued about the product, certainly. We hint about the business. Um, what they re respond to is, is, again, our passion. And that's why everything you do has to have passion. And it's gotta have an ask to it. What are you asking people to do? Do you want them to just like your post? What do you want them to do? Do you want them to reach out to you? Do you want them to, to comment to, in order to be put in a drawing for a free jar of gummies or whatever? Make sure you ask them to do something. Um, and maybe you can offer something like a jar of gummies or, or, or a little you know, travel size of tincture, something like that. So the answer is no, I haven't done ads. Uh, originally they were a little bit tight when it comes to CBD, using that phrase, but I will tell you if that's um, a problem, it doesn't affect us because we are actually not CBD, we're beyond CBD as everybody knows by now, we're FSE. So um, I think you can probably do something. And if you do that, um, I, I would love to see uh, how that works for you, children. Yeah, I want to I want to add to that too, Jeff. <laughs> I'm I'm no uh, master at Facebook, so guys, I'm still learning that right along with you. I know enough to post, but I try to do a Facebook ad and um, six four one worldwide and Billy Workman helped out the entire ambassador community by <laughs> posting the Feel the Reaction website. So I essentially helped all of us because I didn't know what I was doing. So I did spend three hundred dollars in ads. Um, really unsure of where it went from there, but yes, I'm, I'm one that's going to definitely look into doing some ads because I do think that's something big because as we mentioned in the past zooms, you're building a brand with this, the brand is you. So there's, there's tons of people out there that like Jeff mentioned, you can go to a gas station or a convenience store and buy a CBD. People are going to be happier to be able to get their CBD products from someone that they know and trust and, and like and love versus going to, to some random person at a gas station and hoping they're getting the products that they need. So just keep that in mind. And I do believe in the Facebook ads to, to get your name out there. So I'm gonna answer a question too from Kim Clayton. She said, time is the issue. Work full time by day, caregiver at night for my dad. What would you suggest? I gave 30 business cards out to my favorite fast food drive through last night or drive through. That's a great, Kim, that's a great question. What I would do and the reason that I'm, I'm busy as well, just like you are. Um, and I, time is limited of what I can put towards building my business. That is the reason that I use Facebook Messenger. It's a simple message you can send out, get back to them as soon as you can, whenever you're available, through jobs, throughout the day. I would, for you, I would suggest really looking into using Facebook Messenger 
and just start off by reaching out to the people that you know and figure out if they're using CBD products. It's a great start for you. Um, another thing, with, with that busy schedule, sit down and break down your day and dedicate. If it's, figure out if, it, if it's 10 minutes per day, if it's 30 minutes per day, or if it's an hour. Every single day, figure out that time that you're going to dedicate towards building your business. Um, and then on top of that, start building a list. We've talked about that before too, of, of figuring out, you can scroll through maybe one night. And then if you have 10 minutes to dedicate towards this, go through your Facebook messenger and write down 10 people on a piece of paper to make sure you go back and approach those 10 people the next night, do the same thing and 10 people, 10 people, 10 people. If you reach out to 10 people per day with this, you guys will be amazed at the results because you're going to have no's just like Jeff said, I've had people <laughs> say no, ignore me. Um, delete me off Facebook. At the end of the day, I, it doesn't change the way I sleep at night. I feel good about myself. I feel good that I'm offering this opportunity to every single person I know. And Billy, I'm going to jump in there because it, this is a really, really great question. It's a really important question and something that probably quite a few people uh, deal with. And I'm going to talk about uh, reinventing the wheel. Okay. The important part, Kim, is that we all have a process that is repeatable and duplicatable replicable. In other words, how many of us have a different conversation for every single person we talk to? That's a lot of time. That's a lot of invested time. And I, I mean, I hear you. You don't have time to get on the phone with 10 people or follow up with 10 people every single night. I know people get home, they're tired, they're busy, etc. So the key is to have a process. Here's what my process has been. And I'm, I'm going to say right now, Billy, I'm going to catch you this year. So watch out. So here's the process as, it, as it's taken me time to learn uh, this as well. My process is to reach out with them, whether I see something that they post on Facebook or whether I just send them a note and I'll send out five, five Facebook messages a day. And I will start by saying, do you know anything about CBD products or are you taking CBD products or whatever the opener is? The process then is I always say, listen, here's a couple of, you know, really brief PDFs. I'm going to send you some links. Just click on them. Take a look at them on your own time. I'll get back with you. And I send the, uh, what is reaction? Uh, PDF slideshow that we have now. I then send them, what are the other two we have? We have the, the product one I always send third. Um, oh, what is reaction? And then also about the, about the extraction process. Then I follow it up. Those are three PDFs and it gives me permission to then follow up when I have time, maybe on a weekend or something. So the key here is to not reinvent the wheel every time you talk to somebody. That I think is another challenge for people is that we, we, we're not familiar with the process. So create something that's simple. Take a look at those slideshows, Kim, because all you got to do is save the URL and you just text that out. Boom. It's really, really simple. And that should be able to, uh, you know, get you to where you're engaging with them. And then they start asking questions. Then it's on to either signing up or listen, let's get you some product. Does that make sense for everybody? I hope. Yeah, that's, that's great. And I'll tell you most of the time on the response, you guys wouldn't believe how many people, when you write to someone and say, do you take CBD products? How many people nowadays are starting to write back and say, yes, I use them, or I've tried them before, or my mom takes them, or my dad takes them, or I have my dog or my cat on it. You guys, I challenge you. I'm challenging you to try this. Reach out and simply ask someone if they use CBD products. The response that you're going to get back, if you don't, give me a call and I'll figure out how to, how to write it to where it's, you're getting responses because I'm telling you guys, it's that simple. Just reach out. Don't be afraid. If you get scared, call me. Me and Jeff are like the ghostbusters. We're here. We're here to help you. So just reach out to us. And what it is, is you're doing the same thing 10 times as opposed to doing 10 different things, if that makes sense. And that's where, again, uh, as this thing grows for all of us, that's, that's, uh, that it's crucial basically, but it also works. So, yep. Any other and, questions? I'm sorry. Yep. I just want to share real quick. I did make a post on the dream team. So if those of you that are on here as ambassadors are not following the dream team yet, make sure you go on there, feel the reaction dream team on Facebook. You'll see a post I made last week. That was a full conversation. It's, I did that purposely. I sat there for, for quite a while texting something up to be able to post on there for you guys to be able to copy and paste and send to people that you have interested. So that's something that I did last week. I had an ambassador reach out and was, you know, want a little bit of help. So I did that. I made that available for every single person. So please take advantage of that. Um, 
Jeff, I know we had a couple people on here that were talking about testimonies. Yes. Um, let me see. Trying to find my, find my chat bar. I know Joni asked uh, whether we would take testimonies, and absolutely, always. Um, I, I was in a car wreck in um, December, and we thought it was a little fender bender and no big deal. What I found out earlier this week is I have a tear in one of my discs, and a cyst has developed because we just have been treating it and not really getting the correct diagnosis. And I've been going to a chiropractor and an acupuncturist taking herbal medicines and all kinds of things to try to get out of pain. Finally, this week I thought, oh, what the heck, I'm, I'm going to rub the recovery cream on the actual spot on my spine where I know it is. And I've got to tell you within an hour I was able to walk without pain. Now I, you know, without, I was able to walk period where I, there are times when I can't put any weight on that foot. So I have been able to, um, not completely out of pain, but it has improved it so much that I've been able to do everything I needed to do after that. It's just incredible. I had to share that. Joni, I'm, I'm so glad you did. I, I know you personally, so I know what you've been dealing with, but, um, uh, that's, uh, I think it's great. And it pleases me to hear that for you uh, as your friend, certainly. Thank you. Thank you, Johnny. Is there anyone else that, that has any testimonies I'd like to share on the products? Again, I've mentioned this, there's a lot of new ambassadors. The testimony part of this business is probably the, hands down the most important part of it. We can't make any medical claims as ambassadors. All we have is each other testimonies that we've heard from other ambassadors, from retail customers and, and people that are using reaction. So it is important to, to share it, you know, tonight, tomorrow night on the product zoom. Again, if you haven't joined that, you got to go check it out. I'm challenging you to do that as well. It's, it's pretty amazing. Victoria and, and Lindy do a great job with it. Yeah. And last story and somebody from the home office in Omaha, Nebraska can just stop me if I'm saying things I shouldn't say, but, um, as you all know, Katie Maple uh, joined us as our director of marketing several months back. And Katie came, came, came to us through some mutual connections. And as you know, her, her background was with uh, another large company called ACN uh, for 21 years. So she knows the, the business of direct marketing inside and out. She's been doing it since she got out of college. And I have to tell this story because it, 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 it pleases me. So Katie came over and, um, you know, didn't come over as, as an ambassador, you know, and didn't come over because she was going to, you know, work the business or anything else. Um, hadn't even tried the product uh, when, we, when, we, when we finally had our final meeting with her and I gave her some product. And, and so anyway, since then, um, I talked to her last week and she sounds like, like a schoolgirl now. She's so excited. She was literally laughing going, oh my gosh, I can't believe that. These products are amazing. I have tried other products in the past and they didn't do a thing. Um, and I've, I've got to tell you, I am so thrilled because these products are amazing. I'm, giving, I'm talking about it now with my friends. I, am, um, uh, I, I'm, I gave it to my parents and stuff. So to hear how, how at first, um, you know, it wasn't even really about her, you know, trying the product or anything, but to hear her talk about, she is so stoked about these, this company, guys. Um, First of all, she's very good at what she does, but she is so excited. And that really, really, I, I think, pleases all of us to hear somebody with this kind of experience um, uh, with comp plans and in the direct marketing industry. And she says, I'm so excited and I get more passionate about it the more I learn about what makes us different. So I wanted to share that. So it's not just us. There are, there are, there are people um, that, that have been around with a lot of experience that are, that are, are singing our praises too. So... On that note, let's get to the nice drawing. Uh, these results just in from the home office in Omaha, Nebraska. Sorry, I'll stop saying that if you guys want me to. <laughs> you can send me a private message and say, stop it, that's annoying. Um, okay, let's see here where I did get the results here. Oh, we've given away two t-shirts tonight and we need your sizes. So make sure you type in your chat bar before you take off. Uh, the shirt winners tonight are, how about this, Mr. Rowdy Davis. Rowdy, are you still with right. us? If you're still That's with us, you have won a t-shirt. And the second winner of tonight's um, uh, uh, t-shirt is, uh, let's see if I say this right, 
Debbie Yeman, Yeman, Yeman. All right. Y-E-A-M-A-N. If you are on, Debbie, let us know what your size is. Just write it in the chat bar. Both winners, just write your shirt sizes down in the chat bar on the bottom. So. And if you're still on, but you're not typing the chat bar or can't figure out where that is, like me most of the time. Ah, oh, there it is. You got it. Medium t-shirt for Debbie. I think we probably have your address so far. And there's Rowdy, large, to our two winners. Perfect. Uh, All right. Um, hang on a second here. I'm trying to look up here. Rachel said there's – yeah, Rachel, we got we got a couple minutes here. We don't want to drag it out on that, but if you got something great to share with us, we'd love to hear it. Just two oh. things, guys. Um, okay. One, always inspirational. I don't think I've missed one Zoom ever. That's how dedicated I am to getting inspired by you two and others that join. Uh, but I wanted to just say two things. One is I got a retail order today from somebody I don't even know. Um, literally, it was a – friend of mine that just occasionally gets products but she was beating my phone down going hey this lady wants to order you know so it's pretty neat like when you know orders come your way through you know we recommend restaurants to people right and things like that so I, I just wanted to say it's pretty cool you know when you when you get an order from somebody you don't even know who they are but it was a referral right so referrals are huge and two I just got back from Vegas um I took my products and I don't know you guys are seeing what's going on with this virus and the flu is in mid-season and all of that and I've been doing a lot of research about how this helps with your immunity uh your immune system so a lot of people were coughing sneezing I feel great knock on wood and um I think that's something to key in on right now when you're doing some posts you know I mean people are worried about flu and that kind of thing. So I'm going to kind of start going in that direction a little bit um, just because I do feel these products boost our immune system based on everything I've seen with medical studies. So just a couple of things I wanted to point out. Um, love the products. You guys know that. So glad to be back. <laughs> awesome. I'm glad you had a good trip, Rachel. And thanks for that. I, I love hearing that. Thank you, Rachel. Maybe, maybe a gummy all day will keep the buggies away. We'll see. I feel great. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, listen, um, stay tuned. And uh, here's what I'm going to encourage all of you. I know I've made a lot of challenges. I know we get off the Zooms Tuesday night. We're all fired up. And then everybody posts, and it's awesome. And then come Thursday, it's like, rah, rah, rah. we'll get on the Zooms. I'll say this for Billy. We'll, get on, we'll do a Zoom every day if that's what it takes to keep the excitement up during the week. Um, of course, I'm, I'm partially joking about that. So, um, you know, find reasons to get excited during the week. Find other reasons to um, you know, uh, stay motivated, stay pumped up and keep those posts going and keep that excitement going and reach out to everybody, you know, all right, that's it for me. Thank you guys. We, we really Peace appreciate out. you challenge yourself. We'll see you next week.